Weather on the Eights with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 638 and we've been watching rain move through the Susquehanna Valley this morning. Let me show you here on Super Doppler 8. Some spots are in a minor lull, but rain will definitely be back late this morning into the early afternoon. I'll show you that in just a second, but currently here's where it's raining. Fawn Grove to Delta over toward Holtwood, Mechanics Grove, Quarryville picking up that rain as well as Kirkwood up toward Gap. That's kind of the cutoff line there right at Gap. News 8 Storm Team forecast today calls for a foggy mild start. The fog visibility wise has been improved improving over the past few hours, but there still are pockets of dense fog out there. Scattered showers this morning becoming widespread rain by late morning into early afternoon. Then the rain is out of here. I think by 2 p.m. That's the cutoff time. Rain is done and we'll have dry weather with some clearing later this evening. Tonight, partly cloudy, cooler than it is this morning. With the absence of clouds, rain, fog, I think temperatures will be able to get down into the 30s. And tomorrow, look for increasing clouds throughout the day, some breaks of morning sun. But then guess what? Rain comes back by the evening hours and temperatures. They'll be in the mid 40s. Taking a live look in Harrisburg, better shot than what we saw earlier. Could barely see out there just a few hours ago. You can see about three miles in front of you now in Harrisburg, seven miles in Lebanon. That's great visibility and about two and a half miles in York. Here's your current temperatures. Lots of 40s on the map. Boy, these numbers way above our average highs for this time of the year, which are in the upper 30s. So you know it's going to be a warm day today. Right now, a little lull in the action, but there's more rain down to our south. Here's an area of low pressure riding along a stalled front and this low will cross our area late this morning into the afternoon, bringing rain back. But you know what? By 2 p.m., I think it's out of here. Let me show you that with the predictor. You can see today rain comes back. This is lunchtime, so a little soggy then. But by 2, it's gone off to our east. Predictor's optimistic, clearing us out this evening very quickly. I think the, we will see gradual clearing this evening, partly cloudy skies tonight, and some sun early tomorrow before clouds gradually thicken. Look at that. There it is. Rain is back for us. 6 p.m. Wednesday It's coming back in by evening and if you live north of I-80 along or north of I-80 or plan to travel there, there will be some snow with this system as it comes in. Should be very light in nature. I think the predictor is making it look a little worse than it is, but some light snow there with some light accumulations north of I-80. For us, it's all rain. Wednesday night into Thursday, rain tapers Thursday afternoon, and then the cold starts to surge in for Valentine's Day. Here's your predictor estimated rainfall totals today, picking up another tenth or two. And then as we head into the uh, Wednesday night and Thursday system, there could be about a half inch of rain from that. So here's the seven day forecast. Look at the numbers. Friday, 30. Whoa. Then we jump yeah. right back up into the 40s by Sunday. So no, no big cool down there. It's not as bad as it could be for this time of the year. I'll no. tell you that. No.